With the abundance of glitch tutorials available on YouTube, it's no surprise that we're going to be doing our own set of glitch tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll be deconstructing five glitch effects that are simple to recreate and apply to produce captivating promos and glitch graphics. What's up everyone, this is Jordan Bertone with Sonduck Film. Be sure to drop a like on this video, it helps us out a lot, and let's get started. First, we'll create our constant glitch effect to go over the footage for our composition. We'll start by taking our stock footage, putting it on the timeline, right-click it, select Pre-Compose, we'll name it Footage 1, and click OK. Now, we'll grab the glitch effect we want to overlay, put it above the pre-comp, then set the track mat of the pre-comp to this glitch footage. Be sure to download this tutorial's project file with the links in the description to receive this free glitch asset, or you can search the many stock websites that have glitch overlays. We're using a glitch overlay asset as it's a quick and easy way to apply a distortion effect. If you want to create a distortion effect from scratch, check out the links in the description for more glitch tutorials. Now you can see the video takes on the form of the glitch footage. Duplicate the pre-comp, put it at the top of the layer list, Set its track mat back to none, set its start to be around 10 frames, and now you can see we have this abrupt glitch transition into our footage. Next, duplicate the glitch footage, move it to the top of the layer list, right click, select time, enable time remapping, stretch out the glitch to be the duration of the composition, hold the alt key, click the stopwatch for time remap, and enter in the loop out expression like this. Now our glitch footage is extended and we can highlight the precomp under it, Go to Effect, Color Correction, Tint, and Effect, Distort, Displacement Map. Leave the Tint effect as is, but copy it and paste it onto the bottom precomp. Then, for Displacement Map, set the Map layer to the glitch footage we just extended, set the Max Horizontal Displacement to negative 10, and Max Vertical to positive 10. Next, go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Put the Adjustment Layer above the second precomp like this, then go to Effect, Distort, Optics Compensation, Effect, Perspective, 3D Glasses, and Effect, Distort, Transform. For the Optics Compensation, set the Field of View to 50, enable Reverse Lens Distortion. For 3D Glasses, set the Left View to the Adjustment Layer, set 3D View to Balanced Colored Red-Blue, then for Transform, increase the Scale to 105. Now you have this awesome distorted and glitchy footage for your composition. Next, we're going to make a glitch title to go with our footage. Here we have our title, and we're going to open it, select Animate, Opacity, set the opacity to 0%, open the range selector, set a keyframe for offset at the start of the timeline, move forward a bit on the timeline, and then set offset to 100%. Open the advanced tab, enable randomize order, alt click the stopwatch for random seed, then type in time asterisk 1000. Now you can see as the title animates in, the letters will randomly flicker around. Now go up to Effect, Distort, Optics Compensation, Effect, Perspective, 3D Glasses, Effect, Distort, Displacement Map, and Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Directional Blur. Set the Field of View to 28, Left View to your text layer, 3D View to Balanced Colored Red-Blue, set the Displacement Map to be our glitch footage, Max Vertical to negative 5, Blur Direction to 90 degrees, and Blur Length to 15. Now you have this awesome glitch title overlaid onto your footage. Next, we'll quickly make some glitch shapes that we can put around the composition. Here I have a simple X that I made just by typing it out as a text layer, and we'll start by shortening its duration to around 1 second, press T for opacity, set a keyframe, move forward just a few frames, then set opacity to 0%. Alt click the stopwatch for opacity, type in the loop out expression, and now we have a flickering X shape to put around the composition. I'm going to fast forward while I duplicate the X's, move them around the composition, resize them, and stagger them on the timeline so that they appear and disappear all over. After that's done, highlight all of the X's, right click, pre compose, we'll name it X comp, click OK, open this pre comp, go to composition, Composition Settings, and we'll set the duration to around 2.5 seconds to match where we have all of the X's. Back out of that pre-comp, right-click it, select Time, enable Time Remapping, stretch out the layer to fill out the whole composition, then add a loop out to the Time Remap just like we did in the last step. Now we have these flickering X shapes to fill out our glitch promo. 
Before we move on, as you probably know, video editing and doing motion graphics can take a lot of time and effort. To help you save time and create professional quality work, we've developed Motion Duck, an extension that includes thousands of templates. These templates can be easily previewed and applied with a simple click, and you can quickly adjust the parameters to suit your project. If you're looking for an edge in your work, be sure to check out all the templates we have available for After Effects and Premiere Pro by following the links below. And remember, creating content can be time consuming, but with Motion Duck, it doesn't have to be. Next, we'll look at how to adjust the colors of our composition. Start by adding a new adjustment layer, then go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves, and Effect, Color Correction, Color Balance. For the curve, we're going to take the RGB curve and make a slight S shape like this, then swap to red, we'll pull the top right of the line down a bit, swap to green, we'll pull the top right of the line to the left a bit, then swap to blue and pull the bottom left of the line up a bit. For color balance, we'll set shadow red to 10, green to negative 2, blue to 5, highlight red to negative 2, green to 5, and blue to negative 2. This is just how I like to set up my color correction for this composition, but you can play around with these settings to achieve whatever look that you want. Now we have a nice color correction applied to our glitch promo. Lastly, I'll show you how to replace the footage in our glitch composition and add some transitions between them. Our entire composition is pre-composed as promo 1. To replace the footage in this promo, just duplicate the pre-comp, duplicate promo 1 in the project panel, Hold the ALT key, then drag and drop it to replace the second pre-comp. Now we can replace the footage without it changing the original. Open Promo 2, duplicate Footage 1 in the Project Panel, highlight each of the footage pre-comps, and hold ALT to replace them with Footage 2. Then open Footage 2, and replace the footage inside with something new. Now when we back out, we have a second pre-comp with this new footage inside of it. Shorten the duration of the first one and put the second at the end of it to create a sequence, then we're going to go back and navigate to the Motion Duck extension and apply a transition from our Glitch Masters pack. And remember, you can download this tutorial's project files for free and get a few of these transitions available for you to copy and paste into your work. Once it's out on the timeline, we just line up the cut right in between our two precomps and we instantly have a glitch transition between them. Now you know how to easily make an awesome glitch promo in After Effects. Thank you for watching this video. We love seeing your work, so be sure to tag us on Instagram at Sonduckfilm if you created anything from this video. And remember, always be creating.